That's hard. <laughs> Holy crap, you can tell what to play. How I learned. <laughs> Self taught. <laughs> Our friend Lee, Freedom the Vanchin, Vanning Ain't No Joke, Van Life Is Not a Crime, etc., um, came to join us. He was over in Durango, we're in Pagosa Springs. We invited him to come over and hang out. We went climbing, and we've just had a really good time hanging out with him for the past few days. Wander is one of Lisa's favorite dogs, turns out. They're not too energetic for each other. They're both getting a little bit older and they run around together and they're happy to hang out, but it's not too much. So it's been really fun hanging out with another banner for the last few days. that he's here for a few days he'll leave tomorrow and he'll be on my podcast in a couple of weeks so keep an eye out for that and if you're looking for any really cool stickers definitely would recommend hitting up his website so this is perfect for your vlog you to learn how to change a tire yeah learning stuff every week every few days every day So my tire says inflate to 60 to 80. The box says 15. It's at about 20 now, and it feels really firm. So I think we're gonna go with what the box says. fix my flat tire we ended up doing game night in Eloise Van Gogh and it was a very nice time.
Oh no, it's that time. Parting. <laughs> uh, what do they say? Sweet sorrow or something? I have no idea. <laughs> Bye. So Logan has gone off to work and Lee has left to go continue on his adventures and I am here at the campsite still. Uh, got a big day of work ahead of me, but mostly stuff I'm excited about. But it does seem to be kind of a finishing time right now. Just this morning I finished my most recent journal and I have another one to start. Yesterday I finished reading um, my latest book, The Untethered Soul, and last night I also finished knitting my current sweater project. So I still have to weave in the ends and block it, but the knitting part is done. So I get to start a new journal, I get to start a new book, I get to start a new knitting project. Even my little sketchbook that I do my mini message paintings in every morning is almost done. I think I've got maybe a week's worth of pages left. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find another of the same size before I run out. Um, so I might have to, I don't know, augment with something there in the middle while I, while I wait until I can get a new sketchbook that's the same size. But I hear that tomorrow is a lunar eclipse of some kind and uh, that that should bring with it some kind of new beginnings energy. And I'm a little bit woo. Uh, I don't know a lot about that particular cosmic event yet, but yeah, it does seem like it's the, the time to be finishing stuff and starting new projects. All right, so let's tackle weaving in the ends and blocking the sweater so that it's fully wrapped up and I can wear it the next time it gets cold enough to. I'm going to weave in all of the tails that you can see here around the neckline and the sleeves and down by the lower hem. And then I'm going to block the sweater. And essentially what that means is I'm going to set the stitches. So I'm going to soak it in a bowl of water until it is fully soaked through. And then I will wring out as much water as I can. Again, I want to use room temperature water, not hot water. If you use hot water and friction on wool, it will felt, so it will shrink and the stitches will become very intertwined. I could go into the science of it, but I don't think that's why you're here. I'm just gonna block the sweater and lay it out in the sun so that it can dry nice and quickly. And then I can try it on and see how it actually fits. I've never really tried to block quite this way before. Usually you want to lay it flat to dry, uh, pinning to certain measurements, etc. But I don't have a flat surface big enough for the sweater right now, and it's such a warm day outside. The air is really dry up here, so I think it'll dry pretty quickly. Um, and mostly my goal for this was to uh, kind of flatten out some of the stitches and uh, give the wool and the silk back its loft and make it a really nice, comfortable sweater that's not quite as stiff as it is when it first comes off the needles. So I've already done my journaling for the day, my usual morning routine journaling, uh, but I seem to have a lot of stuff on my mind, um, and it's, it's been on my mind for the last few days. This isn't like a brand new thing that's just popped up today, but it's preventing me from like really focusing and getting the things done today that I really wanted to get done. So I'm gonna take my things outside and get away from my computer and my phone and just sit outside in nature and do a little bit more journaling. I find that my mind can be pretty overactive sometimes and so writing things down tends to slow down my thought process enough that I can process the process and so that's what I'm doing here. I have been feeling really varied when it comes to my content creation and this is not an unfamiliar place for me to be, but it's uncomfortable every time I happen to overthink myself. I'm being told that maybe I should niche down and just focus on one area, maybe two areas, but I don't really want to do that. 
I want to talk about everything that I'm passionate about and that's primarily like vanning business and creativity and they all kind of have to do with this concept of deliberate living which is what my podcast is about and which is the driving factor behind a lot of the things that I do create. I have a tendency to get down on myself like why can't I just focus on one thing like all these other normal people. I don't necessarily think I'm you know the world's foremost authority on any of these topics but I'm also afraid that I'm going to get bored if I just pick one of them to talk about forever and if somebody you know comes to my channel for vanning they might be confused by the business content or if they come by the business content they might be confused by the art or if they show up for the art they might be confused by the business or the vanning but I'm not just a one passion kind of person and honestly, I feel like a failure for continuing to switch up my focus, my career, and my passion, but I also feel like an imposter for starting anything new, and that's not a very good feeling either way. And I don't really want to niche down, but I don't know how to clarify what I do so that it's, it'll still provide all the value that I'm trying to provide. Like, the whole reason I create anything is because I think it needs to be made and I think these stories need to be out there and I think that there's human beings who need to hear what I have to say or see what I've been through or whatever. And then also trying to make an income from all the things that I'm passionate about throws another wrench of anxiety in the whole system. If money wasn't a factor, I would just do whatever the fuck I want to do anyway, kind of like I have been doing, but wanting to make money is not inherently a bad thing. I like everything that I do, and I want to be able to mix them all into a solid cocktail of content that provides value, is interesting, and shares something new with the world, or shares the old stuff in a new way. So throughout my journaling, I kind of just felt like I was talking to myself in circles and not really coming to a solution. I kind of ultimately just determined maybe I just keep doing all the things the way that I want to do them and let the path unfold before me like one damn step at a time, taking its sweet freaking time and I'm feeling impatient over here like I need to have everything figured out. And maybe I can incorporate all three things into like each week so that it's consistently inconsistent. I don't really know. But that's some of the real thoughts that happen uh, in this here brain of mine. After journaling, I was still having a hard time focusing on a lot of work projects. So instead, I allowed myself to have some creative time by finishing up a page in my sketchbook that I had started a few days previous with my mom and to start a few new creative projects as well. This definitely helped. And it's too hot. Giving myself some time to reset with journaling and creative pursuits, and then also finding that my sweater was all done blocking and fit perfectly it gave me enough energy to set up my very complicated, super high-end standing desk and finish off the day with some really good productive time. As always, thank you guys for watching these videos. This vlogging is somewhat new to me and I'm enjoying the process. And as I've said before, I'm trying to make each week's video incrementally better. So if you have any kind of feedback whatsoever, please leave it in the comments and I will try and incorporate it in my next video. Until then, go ahead and subscribe, watch all my past videos. Uh, if you're into podcasts, check that out. I have it in audio, video, and written format. 
But what all of this really boils down to is that I appreciate y'all coming to my channel, making it all the way to the end of the video, and letting me know what you think. Have a great week.